Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, your star on Late Night This Evening, Colin Edwards! An Adelaide woman has been found in Colombia with 5.8 kilograms of cocaine. Netflix has already bought the rights to her story to produce another crime drama, Yeah Narcos. <laughs> There was a man arrested on a mattress floating towards Canada from America. Yeah, when police picked him up, apparently he was so disoriented he said, Wait, this is a jet star? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sydney University has conducted a survey to see what designs Australians would like as a potential replacement to the flag. And I would love a replacement to the flag just because all my money is invested into tattoo removal companies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, people with Southern Cross tattoos, can you say cha-ching? <laughs> of course they can, they yell it out of their ute every time they see an Asian person. Okay. <laughs> there was controversy recently with Margaret Court, uh, former tennis star Margaret Court was recently again found to be making uh, very homophobic statements and the question has come up as to whether or not they should rename Margaret Court Arena. Uh, I don't think they should rename it, I think they should burn down that tennis stadium. You know what I mean? A like gay set match. Okay. Uh, in Adelaide, uh, any people from Adelaide? Great. Uh, in Adelaide, they have announced plans to create the world's largest thermal solar power plant. Yeah. The world's first and largest. It's set to go online in the next 10 to 15 years behind everyone else. <laughs> in America, again, congressmen are pushing to make it harder for gay couples to adopt children. I don't know why there's the controversy over gay people uh, having kids, seeing as America was a country that was raised by four fathers. So... <laughs> Entertainment news uh, for the Kardashians, uh, Kendall Jenner has expressed her desire to have her child, her upcoming child, outside of America, uh, most likely to avoid littering laws. Uh, <laughs> a 101 year old woman uh, has won the World Masters in the 100 meter sprint category. Uh, she was the only one in that category by the end of the race. <laughs> Also in Australia, they found a very rare white snake with a rare genetic mutation. Uh, it's not Pauline Hansen, so that's cool. Uh, uh, and in Greece, they've discovered, uh, archaeologists have discovered the tomb of Aristotle, the famous philosopher. But why? Uh, <laughs> Tasmania's only abortion clinic has closed, which has left the government scrambling to find an alternative, um, which is a bit confusing to me. Uh, if you want, uh, part of the inside of yourself to die, live in Tasmania. Uh, I don't think they, don't they get that. Uh, the state is the clinic for the rest of the country. Uh, okay, too real. Uh, recently, in America, a pro Trump rally has turned violent after uh, pro Trump protesters broke through barriers and smashed a door at a building. But in their defense, Cotton Eye Joe would start a plan, so... <laughs> There's only so much you can do.